Hello, it's Jessica here from Sideo. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can easily create a well-written resume in just under 10 minutes using ChatGPT. Okay, just in case you don't believe me, I actually created a solid SDET resume in 10 minutes myself using ChatGPT, and it's definitely doable, and I'm going to show you how. As you all know, creating a resume, especially from scratch, is not easy. ChatGPT can actually give us a really solid resume if we do a few things right, like prompting it and knowing what questions to ask. There's a bunch of reasons why going to ChatGPT to get your resume writing process started is a really good strategy. First, it is time efficient. Writing a resume from scratch can be time consuming, but with ChatGPT, it can significantly help speed up the process by generating content based on your input in just a few seconds. Second, you will be able to customize your content to make sure to include the important skills, experiences, and keywords that are relevant to the position you are applying for. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know how keywords are super, super important to include in an IT resume. And lastly, ChatGPT is skilled at generating well-structured sentences and using appropriate language for a resume. You can easily overcome writer's block and quickly be able to get ideas for impactful phrases and improve the overall quality and readability of your resume without feeling stuck. So let's get into it. Once I open a blank document, I will input my personal information, which will include first name, last name, my job title, and let's say here that I am a software development engineer in test, also known as SDET. I will add my current location, email, phone number, and any additional personal information needed. Next, I will want to start with showing off all the skills I have as an SDET. I want to make sure I am including relevant keywords so that my resume will be able to pass the ATS or applicant tracking system. Now, this is the exciting part. I will input in ChatGPT list keywords to include in the technical skills section of an SDET resume. Within seconds, in my case, ChatGPT generated 50 words to include in the technical skills section of my resume. Looking at this list, I will quickly be able to pick out the skills that are essential on an SDET resume and put together a technical skills section with the right words that recruiters are looking for. The more detailed or specific the prompt, the better. You can rephrase and try different prompts to get more detailed or specific results. For example, you can list keywords to include in an SDET resume to pass ATS or create a technical skills section for an SDET resume that is best for passing the ATS for an SDET position. With this prompt, the technical skills section will already be organized and grouped to increase readability. Just remember though, ChatGPT is an excellent tool to use, but ultimately, you should read through the response it gives to make sure to pick and choose the parts you want to include in your resume instead of just copy and pasting it. Next, let's go to the work experience section. In the work experience section, you will quickly be able to get general responsibilities for the position you worked in. For example, since my title here is an SDET, let's say that my most recent experience is also as a software development engineer in test. I can write on ChatGPT list responsibilities of an SDET to write on a resume. Please note that I added on a resume. This will prompt ChatGPT to form phrases that are concise and focused on the key tasks and achievements of an SDET. The sentence structure will be one that is perfect for bulleting on your resume. Now remember everyone, specific is better on ChatGPT. Let's say that you are working at a banking company and now you can specify your ChatGPT prompt to say, list responsibilities of an SDET working at a banking company to write on resume. With this, ChatGPT will generate even more specific responsibilities that are customized to an SDET that is working at a banking company. I would definitely recommend testing different prompts and also, as mentioned before, make sure that you don't just copy and paste, but read through what ChatGPT generates to pick and choose the phrases that you can use and also get ideas for how you should write your responsibilities. Now, let's say that you worked as a teacher previously before becoming an SDET. Then you can write responsibilities of a middle school English teacher to write on resume. 
and within seconds, you will get a list of responsibilities to add to your resume. With the experience section of your resume completed, now all you need to do is add additional optional information such as education, certification, and other relevant accomplishments. Okay guys, you can see the power of what I just did and it literally just took us minutes. So here are some points to remember about creating your resume with ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a powerful tool for resume writing to save time, help you customize your resume to the position you're applying for, and provide well-structured sentences to add to your resume. But remember to be specific when writing the prompts in ChatGPT for better results. Use the flow that I just created and shared with you and feel free to prompt even more. Also remember that ChatGPT can produce content for your resume within seconds, but it doesn't get you all the way there. Your resume needs to reflect you, so it is essential to review and refine the generated content to make sure it accurately reflects your unique qualifications and experiences. I hope this helped, and if you found this video helpful, give us a like. If you have any questions, comment down below and we'll be happy to answer them. Check out our other videos on similar topics and hit the subscribe button to make sure you get notified of future videos.